In the southeast corner of Winnipeg lies the largest French community west of the Great Lakes. St. Boniface is full of history. It's the birthplace of Manitoba's founder, Louis Riel, and every winter it hosts the famous Festival de Voyageurs. It's also home to many great restaurants, including Marion Street Eatery. I'm Scott Anderson, and this is One Dish Winnipeg. I'm from Winnipeg, and I love Winnipeg. And with such an amazing culinary scene, I had to get out and try some of the best Winnipeg restaurants. Join me as I try their one dish. I'm Melissa Rimp and I'm the chef here at the Marion Street Eatery. And my name is Laniel, last name Smith, and I'm one of two owners at the Marion Street Eatery. We're a restaurant in the heart of St. Boniface. Uh, we're locally owned at just it's the two of us and our crew, then we just feed people. That's what we do, I guess. <laughs> we serve uh, comfort food, so basically kind of just down-home, regular food you would get in your mom's kitchen, but kind of kicked up a couple notches. You don't never know what you're really going to get when you do walk in, but you will get good service. Uh, you will be fed well. You will definitely not leave hungry. We're hoping that it's an experience. We're hoping that you leave happy. That's our biggest thing, is we want everyone that walks in to leave happy. The one dish we'll be preparing today is the mac and cheese with broccoli and bacon and a mustard pretzel topping. I think it's our one dish because it's really popular. It's one of the dishes that I'm most proud of. I, I think we're just, we're known for that dish. When people say Mary Street Eatery, they say the mac and cheese. Now let's go to the kitchen and see how Melissa makes their one dish. Today we are going to be making uh, mac and cheese with bacon and broccoli. Wonderful. Do you guys sell a lot of this? Yeah, I would say this is probably our most popular dish. Excellent. I like mac and cheese. And I haven't had a good real mac and cheese in a long time. Awesome. So what's the first step? What are we going to do? Okay, to start we've got our cheese sauce here in a pot heating up. Um, the cheese sauce is made with 2% uh, milk. Oh, it's thick. Yeah, we <laughs> thicken the milk with uh, flour and butter make like a vermeer and thicken it up and uh, then we top it off with New Bothwell Old Cheddar. Ooh. Old is the best because it gives it a nice sharp flavor. And Bothwell's uh, local too, right? Absolutely, love That's local good. products. Uh, and then we, to, to finish off the seasoning, we have salt, pepper, lemon juice, which is key to bring out that extra cheesy flavor, flavor. and uh, Tabasco. We're going to heat up our pan here. We've got our nice tray of uh, ingredients, our mise en place ready to roll. So everything here is going into that? Everything here is going to go into there and make it beautiful and delicious. Wow. We've got some bacon ready to go. We have got our broccoli. The broccoli's been steamed off okay. and ready to go, so that way it's not too crunchy. Then we're going to add in our cheese sauce. Then we're going to add in our cooked macaroni. Okay, excellent. So how long will this simmer for? Uh, just simmer it for a couple minutes just to make sure it's nice and warm before we put it in the oven. We're just going to add a little bit of seasoning. So we've got some salt. We're going to add in some pepper. Then we're just going to give it a quick taste. Sure. I just want to make sure the seasoning is all good. It's nice and seasoned, ready to go. It looks nice and saucy. You want to make sure that it's uh, not too dry because when it goes in the oven, yep. the noodles are going to suck up a little bit of the liquid. Right, so okay. We just want to make sure it looks really nice. So then we're ready to go. So we're just going to pour our mac and cheese into our pan here. Look oh, all nice. Good. And then to top it off, we have uh, more grated cheddar. And then with uh, mustard pretzels, are going to go on the top for a crunchy bit. Pretzels? Pretzels. Yeah. I've never had pretzels on my mac and cheese. Yeah. That sounds good. It's a nice little twist. So what gave you the idea to put pretzels uh, on top of mac well, and you cheese? Know, growing up, my mom always put like breadcrumbs on top of our mac and cheese, so I thought, you know, we need something different. And I, I thought mustard pretzels would be nice because it just gives it a little zing and something, a little bit of a different taste. So we put it in a 400 degree oven and it's going to stay in there for about 8 to 10 minutes uh, until everything kind of gets all bubbly, the cheese melts, the topping, the pretzel topping gets all nice and crunchy. Oh, sounds good. Can't wait. And here we have the finished mac and cheese. Oh, wow. Nice and bubbly and crusty on top and ready to go. Let's give this a try. Be careful, it's probably really hot as it just came out of the oven. Ooh, look at the steam. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That's really good. The crunchiness of the pretzels and the bacon. And you're right, the cheese, that old cheese really tastes really good in there. Wow. You gotta try the mac and cheese here. This is really good. 
I'm going to have more. Are you going to have yeah. more of this? <laughs> Marion Street Eatery's mac and cheese is great. With pretzels, bacon, and plenty of cheese, it's easy to understand why it's their one dish. But it's Sunday morning here, and people are eating brunch. Let's see what they're having and what they think of the place. I had the omelet, it was fantastic. The, the ingredients are really fresh. Today I had the um, Eggs Benedict and it was excellent. I love to have my Eggs Benedict done on top of the croissant. I enjoyed the sauce, it was not too heavy. Everything is good. The presentation made it look attractive and appetizing. I got the breakfast skillet and a Caesar, obviously. <laughs> the jacked up hash in there is unreal. Gotta get that, the corn in there. That makes the breakfast, I'd say. Uh, I had the eggs benedict. The maple sugar ham is really good, nice and moist. I le first heard about it about 10 days ago and came for lunch. And I've now been here for dinner and this is my first brunch or breakfast. So it's my third time and I've enjoyed it very much. I've traveled the world and I've been in many, many, many different kinds of restaurants. And I like the atmosphere, the ambience, the camaraderie in this restaurant. It's great. I think it's just really friendly. It's just, you just feel like you're you're really welcome here. The people are super nice. The staff's always very, very friendly. And the food, like everything on the menu, it's, you know, I look at the menu and I'm like, I could probably just have everything here. Some of the best food I've had, I think, and the service. Like, I mean, I come here once a week and they're always taking care of me. They feed me, thankfully. <laughs> That's pretty much our favorite place. You always kind of feel like home. Everyone's really welcoming and the service is really great. And uh, the food is really what it all comes down to. It's 